okay so let's take a look at how you can plot the heat map using plotly library in python so first thing what we will do is we will try and set up some of the libraries and from there we can go ahead for plotting the heat map so first thing i'm opening this terminal as you can see it's powershell instance and i will check whether i have python installed or not so python space double dash version this shows me python is installed next thing is typing in pip install plotly right once we have this library next thing we can also add plotly express if you also have this library you can go ahead with jupyter dash lab right you have these three libraries you are good to go right all you have to do is type in jupyter dash lab and you will have jupyter dashboard open in one of the browsers right you can also open jupyter notebook if you want so one of the options would work for the vs code users you can go to vs code and there you can install two extensions one being jupyter second being your python extension right so here let's see the installed extension i have jupyter this is the extension you will be using along with python one right once you have these two you are good to go now click on view command palette and here type in jupyter and then see the create new jupyter notebook option click on that and that should open one of the tab here for you right so here in this text box you can type the code on the left hand side you can run the code right so import plotly.express as px and then you have data within this square bracket so first i'm going to use 523 15 and 47 the second being i will be adding c25 5 25 12 then we have comma and another data which is 31 then c 35 25 then 41 right then next is using 12 18 5 and 7 so we have their data too then figure equals to px dot i am sure right so this is the function that we will use to plot our heat map so here let's type in fear show and now let's uh, run this right so click on the button or control alter enter right so that should start the process for plotting your heat map okay few things to note it's the below timer that runs shows the time it took to plot your heat map and the immediately below you will be seeing the heat map and considering this is plotly library you will also get this bar at the top to save this plot and screenshot zoom in zoom out pan then auto scale then also check the legend on the right and your data here with heat map right few things you can do is you can also change the opacity you can also change minimum maximum values here you can use see something like z min right so say z min is 15 z max is c 35 right now if we run this again it should show you the difference with previous heat map as well right there is also one more parameter which is origin so if we replace z min z max with this origin parameter and set it to lower property 
So if I run this, you will notice the difference in heat map as well. Right? And later on the right, we'll continue to show the color bar or color palette being used. Right? Now there is one more thing. You can also use labels in this type of heat map. Right? So what we can do for this is basically we will remove the existing part and then let's see I will take it to another line labels and within that I will use dict function and it should have x and y axis values so I will use within single quote x dash axis and then y equals to y dash axis and then we have color equals to legend right so we have labels part taken care of on the next line i will go to value for x and within that i will just use a then b then c comma d right and the thing is y equals to let's say v1 then v2 right but make sure it's in single quote right and v3 then comma then v4 so we have like those values set up as well now what we can do simply run this notice x and y axis labels we have right so let me stretch a bit more and you can see also you will see the x a b c d and y v1 v2 to v4 right so that part taken care of there is also x axis placement for these labels that you can and just by using figure dot update underscore then it should be x axis right so x axis and within that function i will just use side equals to top right and now if we choose to run this notice it goes from bottom to the top and it will also say x axis y axis so it's more readable this way often what's in the bottom is ignored right so we have that part too now we need few more things to set up something like let's say if i want to adjust the text for each cell right so what i can do is i can use text underscore auto right so i will use that part which is basically Let's say here I can add text underscore auto equals to true, right? So that part we have. So let me check T color. Sorry, it is causing issues. Right. So let's put it after this, right? So we have like text underscore auto set to true. So if I run this, notice that the values will be placed in each of that square piece of heat map. Right now, there are things you can play around with, which is color, but we will get back to that part later. Right. So we will be also seeing options like let's say range color right so if we add here let's say range underscore color and we set square bracket inside which we use 10 to 30 and let's say if i run this notice the change in the heat map range color right also your legend will reflect that right then there are few things that you can do which is using color continuous scale or color continuous midpoint right so 
Well, there is a lot you can do color continuous scale so I will show you Python color continuous scale right so we are going to check some of the values for that so in case of plotly we have few options as you can see these are some of the options so I will show you few like say four or five like plasma then there is RD value some right this RD value then there is spectral right H so we will take a look at some of them let's open your code here instead of range color let's play around with color continuous scale now within the single code I will start with magma right so it's one of the value you can see within this set of options and here you'll notice your magma color right your legend will immediately reflect that magma color strip as well right now we can experiment few more something like rainbow right so if I run this you will have rainbow legend too right so let's take a look at something here something like say delta emerald and blues so I'll go with blues right so if we run this we have blues color strip too right there is also one more thing which is let's say rd yl and then bu right so if we run this we have that in a color strip right there are few more values which are interesting to see which is peach then coral you can see in oranges right it's a lot of interesting so CVDs is also one of the common one that I have seen with most of the heat maps right so let's go with that and you'll notice the CVDs one right then there is also some green variations right so we'll try to find out few of those right so there is a dark mint one then there is ice fire teal horse so we'll go with teal road sorry so teal roads run this and you have your new strip as well so now let's see there is also one more thing which is color continuous midpoint so we'll try and add that color continuous midpoint right what it does is displays image and add that on 2d regular raster so we will try and put some value something like 10 to it because it accepts that value so we run this and immediately see the difference in that notice it will try to pick the different color once you set the values based on that so 0 on the way to 10 it will reflect that right so these are some of the things you can do in heat map while using plotlet library in python